Hi good people, here you have the machine today. I have stripped it of all the preliminary wiring and my mission now is to wire all the engines and lay every cable I need for the machine to work properly. Like you have seen in my previous videos I have um, wired up the TB6560s and they work. So I look forward to wire up my NEMA 23s to the TB6560s. I'm going to use a shielded cable like this. I don't know if you can see me. Let's focus. Yeah, I'm going to use a shielded cable uh, for all the stepper motors and the limit switches and everything. There are six individual wires plus uh, ground wire and of course you have the shield on the outside of all of them. I'm also going to use these uh, cable uh, guides or cable rails or what you want to call them. These are bought on the internet and I'll leave a link in the description. So I, I want one up here I have one small for the set axis and I have one on the side for the X axis. You can see I've gotten these ferrite uh, rings uh, which I'm going to put on all the stepper motors. It's just a ring and uh, you turn the cables around through and around and through. Those are ferrite rings and uh, they will eliminate some of the frequency noise or the electric noise. Let's start building! My plan is to take this uh, heat shrinkable tubing I wrap each pair of the stepper motor I will heat shrink those then I will put on the ferrite ring, have the cables go back inside, around. We'll try to get them uh, split off from each other on the ferrite. I'm not an expert at ferrites, but uh, yeah, I think it's maybe it's good to have them uh, separated. I will take off the outer. Uh, isolation or insulation here long enough to cover some of these cables then I will get a bigger heat shrinkable tube and after I have soldered cables together I will uh, heat shrink it over everything I don't have my heat gun here so I'm sorry but I have to use a lighter to heat shrink the tubes don't do this at home.
some effort, the camera went uh, dead, the battery. But uh, I have finished uh, the wiring. Here I have the wiring for the limit switch on the Y axis. It's going inside here. Here I have a cable guide for cables to the spindle or light if I want that uh, later. Uh, or uh, And the limit switches of course, which is going on this bracket. Everything uh, wired up here. Uh, on all the stepper motors I only used four wires. And the rest I've taken out so, that, uh, I, so I can use them later for other, other things. Wires coming up here and uh, into this cable guide. Here I have the, the cable for the limit switch Y axis. Uh, I also need a switch inside here for the Y axis. And the cable goes down here and out of the cable, cable guide here. As you can see, it's uh, quite a few cables. And here I have a wire for the X axis limit switch going on here somewhere. And that uh, cable goes all the way through this cable guide and uh, outside down, down here for the limit switch on this side. And of course it just loops back inside and out for the control box. X-axis stepper motors there and there both wired into the cable guide down out for the control box. So as you can see I've gotten uh, all the whole machine uh, at least cabled up, not wired up yet. But I think that will be that for this episode. If you would like to uh, watch uh, me finish this build uh, and make uh, stuff with this poor, poor little CNC machine. Just continue watching my channel um, and if you have any questions at all leave them down in the comments or go to my Facebook page or my web page, links in the description. I also have Twitter but I don't use that uh, as much. So do some of those things if you have any questions or comments, please. And if you like, please hit the like button or the dislike button. That's it. For this time, thanks for watching again, bye.